is the Canon R6 good for sports photography? So straight away, here's the good, the bad, and the ugly for the Canon R6 in sports photography. It's fast, it's fast as fuck. I'm fast as fuck, boy. It focuses fast, it shoots fast. It has never started buffering for me, and it has never overheated in photo mode. I don't think it overheats in photo mode. If you're upgrading from an older Canon camera, you're gonna be impressed with this. It locks on to your subjects really intuitively and doesn't wanna let go. It shoots on both SD cards, giving you an instant backup. The images look great, even when cropped, and it's really small and light. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the like button. Here's the bad points. <laughs> the battery life is not great, you're gonna need extra batteries. The back screen, it's not the best quality. Some of the advertised specs for shooting speed and that kind of thing, they rely on RF glass. It's not very good for swapping between photo and video, so if you're one of those types of people that likes to shoot both, uh, it can be a little bit clunky. Okay, with that out of the way, let's dig in a little bit deeper to sports photography on the Canon R6. Yeah! So I've been shooting on the Canon R6 since about May, but I hadn't really been put into a sports scenario. I've recently started shooting with the local boxing gym, so here's a couple of teaser shots for you. Now I know what you're thinking, the lighting in there sucks, and it kind of does. It's a basement boxing gym and it's a little bit dark, but it makes for some great photos. So I decided to pair up the Canon R6 with the Canon 85mm 1.4 with image stabilization, just to let as much light into the camera as possible. Really brighten up this little camera. During warm-ups or pre-session, I normally shoot in aperture priority mode. You know, I feel it gives a little bit more movement, a little bit more natural life to photos. I'll boost the minimum shutter up to one over 250, just because, you know, people move a little bit more erratically in a gym setup, so I just like to keep it a little bit higher just to avoid too much motion blur. I'll show you how some of those shots came out. So these are more like lifestyle shots, behind the scenes or sports culture type shots. Don't I just sound so extra right now? But when the action picks up, you're gonna wanna switch to shutter priority mode. That's gonna give you the best motion capture for sports. If you're shooting close up to people, I like to use either face tracking or eye tracking. With boxing, you should probably use just face tracking and not eye tracking because the gloves often cover up the eye of your subject and that forces the camera to start hunting around for a new face. Sometimes it's actually gonna lock onto the glove because the glove is big and round like a face. So face tracking seems to be the winner for your boxing sports photography. And with the Canon R6, once it snaps onto a face, it doesn't wanna let go. And if it does slip off, it normally switches straight back on as soon as it catches that face out in the open again. It's really reliable for sports photography. Now I'm sure we might have gotten even better results with the RF version of this lens, but I just love this lens, it's my jam. I don't have the RF version and the RF version isn't image stabilized, which I love about this 85mm. Now, in terms of ISO, I go all the way up to 6400 on this camera. And granted, my style is a little bit grainy, but I find you can actually clean up photos all the way up to 6400, probably beyond, but that's my limit on the Canon R6. I just think modern cameras do such a good job with ISO and you can get rid of loads of noise in your post-processing on the computer these days. Now, when you're holding down the trigger and firing off shots at lightning speed, filling your dual wheeled SD cards up to the brim, you're gonna be running through batteries like a mother So here's a pro tip, get more batteries. You don't say. Who was it? get more batteries. I have a rule with batteries. I go half and half Canon official batteries and the other half like special price Amazon batteries because those Canon ones cost a f***ing fortune. It's just a fact of sports photography. You rinse batteries because you take a lot of photos. And if you aren't rinsing batteries, you're probably missing some of the action. So start shooting. Yes, the shooting begins. So in answer to your question, is the Canon R6 good for sports photography? I say, yeah. 
The Canon R6 performs really well in terms of sports photography. And if you're upgrading from any older camera, even a 1DX2 to be honest, you're gonna be pretty impressed with this. I'm excited about hopefully using the Canon R3 in the not too distant future, but yeah, the Canon R6 is great and I'm not in any rush to upgrade. Subscribe if you like this video and I will make another one. Sounds fair enough, right? Yeah? Sounds fair enough? Subscribe. I will see you next time.